The ARM assembler source file can contain assembler directives. So let's talk about it. Assembler directives are common commands to the assembler that supply data to program and direct the assembly process. They are executed by the assembler at the assembly time but not by the processor at the runtime. Machine code is not generated for the assembler directives as they are not directly translated to machine language. Assembler directives can be used to define symbols, global variables, they can be used to assemble conditional blocks of code, and they can also be used to allow references to other programs. Assembler directives can also be used to designate area of memory for data storage and program storage. The ARM assembler supports a list of assembler directives, but we will discuss only a few. The ARM supports two modes of assembly language instructions, namely ARM mode and thumb mode. The ARM mode is a 32-bit instructions providing a comprehensive range of operation. We can enable it by using ARM assembler directive. The ARM directive instructs the assembler to interpret subsequent instructions as 32-bit ARM instructions. If necessary, it also inserts up to three bytes of padding to align to the next word, boundary. If in a source file you are using a mixture of thumb and ARM instructions, then you need to uh, use ARM directive in order to switch to the ARM mode. And you can see in this listing file when we are using this ARM directive, all the instruction size is 32 bit wide. If you want to program in thumb assembly language instruction mode, which is a 16 or 32 bit wide instruction, then you need to use thumb assembler directive. So the thumb assembler directive tells the assembler to begin assembling all instructions using thumb which is 32-bit or thumb2, which is 16 or 32-bit long instructions. The syntax structure of the code determines whether the instructions are 16 or 32-bit wide. Also, the thumb mode performs an implicit half-word alignment. If you are using both thumb and ARM mode in a single assembly language file, then you need to use thumb assembler directive when changing from AR mode to thumb mode. As you can see in this listing file, the ARM mode instructions are 32 bit wide. But when we switch to thumb mode instruction, the instruction size has reduced to 16 bit only. Depending on the memory configuration of your device, code and data can reside in different areas of memory. The area directive allows the programmer to specify the memory location to store code and data. A name must be specified for an area directive and there are several optional comma delimited attributes that can be used with area directive. Some of them are given in this table, like you can specify this attribute as code or data, read only, read write. Here is an example of using area directive to create a new data section, namely const data.
in an assembly language program we usually define constants that are used throughout the program for that we use equate directive this directive equate a constant value to the symbol and that symbol can be used in place of its value in the assembly program the symbol is labeled that must appear in the label field for example in this line of code index is the symbol that will be replaced by this constant value and you can see this index is defined in the first column of the line therefore it will be treated as label field the value used in this directive must be a well-defined expression for an assembly language program the first instruction to be executed within an application is marked by entry directive this directive declares an entry point to the program an application can contain only a single entry point and so in a multi-source module application only a single module will contain an entry directive here is an example of using entry directive and its syntax we just use entry to mark the starting point of the assembly language program an assembly language project may contain multiple source files you may need to use a symbol in a source file that is defined in another source file the export directive declares a symbol that can be used in different program files in export directive the symbol name is case sensitive the export directive is similar to the global directive which defines global variable this code snippet shows how to define a symbol main using export directive the import assembly directive in current file give the code access to symbols in the other files the symbol used in import directive must be defined with export directive in the other source file extern is a similar directive that can also be used in place of import directive here is an example of import directive accessing symbol main from some other source file align directive is used to align the section program counter on the next boundary use of this directive ensures that your code is correctly aligned by default the align directive aligns the current location within the code to a world boundary align to can also be used to align on half word boundary in thumb code Generally, it is safer to use align frequently through your code. Size in bytes parameter of uh, this align directive must be equal to 2 raised to power n. It means if we use align 2, then the section program counter will align to half word boundary. And if we use uh, align 4, then the section program counter will align to word boundary and so on. And directive is an optional assembler directive that is used to terminate assembly language source file. It must be the last assembly statement because any source statement after this directive will be ignored by the assembler. As you can see in the source file, when the end directive is used, the next two statements are not counted in the listing file. This directive is also very helpful in debugging because we can use it wherever we want to stop the assembling 